Today we're going to be talking to you about the uh, HX Shrub Pump from Bogart Aviation and troubleshooting if it won't build pressure um, and identifying the different parts. This is your inlet hose. <clears throat> You'll hook your compressor, um, shop air, or your nitrogen hookup to this. Um, you'll have air come in, <clears throat> it'll go in and build this tube up, it'll push this handle up. You want to have this handle extended before you hook your air inlet up. Um, and as you compress this handle, it pushes air out and comes out this check valve and into your um, high pressure hose, hooking up to your strut or whatever you're using this for. Um, sometimes uh, you'll hook it up and start pumping it and it won't build any pressure. You'll sit there and push and push and it won't be pumping it up. So a lot of times there'll be something that gets caught in this check valve. One of them fell or there's debris that gets into them. So what you'd want to do is your inlet first. Undo this, hook this back up and let air run through the whole system and it'll clear these check valves if there's anything stuck in them. Um, do that a couple times and hook it back up and test again. Um, if that doesn't do the job, um, most likely this check valve is no good and you need to contact us for replacement. Alright, I'm going to show you how to blow the system out to clear the check valves and anything that might be stuck in any of it. Um, I got my shop air here. I hooked up my fitting to my inlet and I'm going to extend this handle <clears throat> out. If you don't do that, when you hook your air up and it's down, as soon as you hook your air inlet up, this is going to shoot up. You don't want it to hit you or something else, so it's good to lay it on its side before you even hook it up when you use it. So I'm going to just hook this up. By doing that, if there was anything obstructing these passages, it should have cleared. So now, I'm going to hook up my uh, test gauge to the high pressure side here. Lay it on its side, extend the handle, and hook my, my air up. And then as, I, as you pump, as you can see on my gauge as I pump here, it's building pressure. And this handle will move up by itself and there's a spring in here that helps slow it down. As you can tell, it's building pressure, holding it, I'm already at 500 PSI. Before you release this, you want to release the inlet pressure, it should still hold if your check valves are working. So if your check valves are good and it's not building pressure, there's a possibility that in this gooseneck, there is a little seal in there that seals on the Schrader valve. If you're having leaks or um, any issues with it sealing or not building up pressure, there's a gasket in the bottom of this check valve, which you can see the, the steel insert. Sometimes when it's on the strut and you go to back it off, this will unthread from this brass and then that little gasket goes. You lose it what have you put it back together and then it won't seal again so you need to make sure that's in there because that's what makes the seal on the Schrader valve so this is how you test a check valve um, to determine if it's leaking or not there's arrows on the check valve that's showing you the direction of flow so if you push put the air nozzle up and push it you should have air blow through if you flip it around so the arrow's facing the gun, that means it should be holding air. It's not leaking past.